hormone you might have heard of is relaxin. And this is a very aptly named hormone because it helps to relax certain parts of the body. So in women, relaxin is always produced, and men actually have relaxin as well. Um, for women, our, our ovaries produce relaxin. And after we ovulate, the relaxin levels rise a bit to help to, to relax the, the wall of the uterus, to help to um, encourage implantation. And if implantation does not occur, if that embryo does not implant, then the relaxin levels drop back down to what they normally are. But if that embryo does implant, the relaxin levels begin to rise, supporting that implantation and supporting the growth of the placenta. And then when you are ready to have the baby, relaxin is so great because it helps the, the ligaments in the pelvis become more relaxed so they can open to allow baby's head to smoothly move down and out. So relaxin is really great and it really helps us throughout the journey through pregnancy and into motherhood. One slight bummer um, of these high levels of relaxin during pregnancy is that sometimes it can create some discomfort in the pelvis and different you know, ligaments in the body because everything can become so loose and relaxed. So relaxin can sometimes feel like an irritant, but in the big scheme of things, we really want those higher levels of relaxin. All right, if you have any questions about this, other hormones that do all sorts of crazy stuff during pregnancy, childbirth, and, and after we have the baby, let me know in the comments below.